Hey, it's John Siskovich. We're here in my winter chicken housing. We're looking at my chicken feeders with Dr. Mike, the poultry expert. Now, I use the same feeders in the summer that I do in the winter, but Mike's got some good advice for how high you should hang your feeders and what kind of construction they should be. So check it out. So Dr. Mike, I have these Schedule 40 PVC pipes that I've cut a slit down. I've suspended them. Now, walk me through the, the poultry expert's view of what I've done here. Actually, John, this is a pretty good, it's a, it's a novel idea. It's not the first time I've ever seen PVC feeders, but it's the first time I've seen them set up this well. Okay? You've got them on ropes so you can adjust the height of the feeder, which is very important. So people don't realize that if you have the feeder too low, the birds can get into them, they can poop in them, and they can also throw feed and waste it, and feed's expensive. So ideally, the lip of the feeder, which is this part right here, should always be level with the flat of the back on your shortest hand. Now, if you got a really tall hand, you got really short hands, then you probably got the wrong mix of birds. They should all be pretty similar size, because you want to have the flat of the back of your average bird or your shortest bird. And the reason for that is you want the bird so its head comes over and works a little bit to get into feed. And the other thing about never overfill your feeder. If you have them really full, they tend to put their head in and sh shake it back and forth with their head and tend to throw feed around like that. And you don't want to waste your feed. Sorry, I just wasted your feed. Oh, but, you're fired! <laughs> yes. But So the idea is to keep your feed about only up to halfway in your feeders, no matter what type. Now, whether you're using a tube long feeder like this or the hanging tube gravity feeders, the same thing applies. Don't, don't overfill. Only about halfway up in the feed trough area and the lip of the feeder should always be flat on the back. Now I like about this, this concept of feeder here is that the fact that it's on a swinging rope like this, the birds don't tend to want to roost on it because they don't like to swing. They're not children, they like to swing. These are chickens. So John, I think you did a good job here. Congratulations. Thanks. One quick question while we're yes. talking feeders. Mm -hmm. I know with round feeders it might be different, but with linear feeders, I asked you about this for the roost. Right. Is there a set amount of linear feeder space per bird? Uh, I don't like to say that because it depends on the width of the bird and the size of the bird. My, my idea in feeding is that all birds should be able to feed at the same time. So you should have enough space that all your birds can feed at basically the same time. Or at least three quarters of them because some of them don't want to feed at the same time. That uh, brings up a really good important point that's a general rule of thumb for all livestock and mm -hmm. farming is observation. Don't spend too much time being busy running around thinking that you have no time to really manage your whatever operation it is. Have your eyes open when you feed out in the morning. Watch to see if all your birds can feed at once and if you have birds competing, you don't have enough feeder space and it's time to add more feeders. Well, thanks, Mike. That was great. Exactly. Thank you.